Bartolomeo Bonghi, died 1584, was a renowned legal scholar and professor in the 16th century. He is shown in this portrait by Giovanni Battista Moroni holding a book on Roman civil law dedicated to him by its author in 1553. The portrait was painted shortly after 1553 and is currently on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 612. Through the open window is a tower that was one of the city of Bergamo's most identifiable landmarks. Moroni was admired throughout northern Italy for his ability to capture his sitters from life or from nature, in the words of the Venetian artist Titian. Works such as this were doubtless studied by the young Caravaggio. The portrait is a half-length depiction of the sitter, who is dressed in his professorial robes and three-cornered hat. He is holding a book in his left hand, which is open to reveal the title page. The book is Dior Civili Romano Libri Tres by Girolamo Zanchi, a jurist and theologian who dedicated his work to Bonghi in 1553. The book is a treatise on Roman civil law, which was Bonghi's field of expertise. He taught law at the University of Pavia and was a member of the Academia degli Affidati, a learned society founded by Zanchi. The background of the portrait is dark, except for the open window on the right, which shows a view of the city of Bergamo. The tower that is visible through the window is the Torre Civica, also known as the Campanone, which was built in the 11th century and served as a watchtower and a bell tower. The tower was one of the most recognizable features of Bergamo, which was Moroni's hometown and where he painted most of his portraits. Moroni was one of the leading painters of the Lombard school and was influenced by Titian, whom he met in Venice. The portrait is a remarkable example of Moroni's style and technique, as well as his ability to portray his sitters in a realistic and respectful way. He has used a reduced palette and a lively brushwork to create a portrait that is both intimate and dignified, capturing the personality and culture of his sitter. He has also included details that reveal the sitter's identity and profession, such as the book, the hat, and the window. The portrait is a testament to the friendship and admiration between Bonghi and Moroni, as well as between Bonghi and Zanchi.